Okay. Seeing your screen. Ah, perfect. perfect. Okay. So let's start. Good afternoon, everyone in Ottawa. Good afternoon. The yes. thing is, I have to speak. I have to mute everybody's mic so that there's no feedback. Okay, okay, then. Okay. Just to make sure that you guys can hear me. Okay. Really early morning here in Jakarta. First of all, I want to thank Capital Carbon Consulting, Elaine Garima and the team. So my talk topic today is how enterprise can distribute the security decision at speed and scale. I will bring in the perspective of enterprise, DevOps, and security aspect. So I'm lucky to have the opportunity to work with some enterprise in Indonesia on their agile and DevOps journey, and mostly in the financial institutions such as banks, and also manufacturing. Let's start. Ah, I have introduced my, uh, me. This is myself. My name is Made Mulia, DevOps consultant, trainer, and coach in Indonesia. And this is my business in Indonesia. And I'm the organizer of DevOps community here. We have around 2,300 members right now. And I'm the organizer of the DevOps Days Jakarta. Hey, Made. So, I got to yeah. stop you. I, we are just seeing your screen, but not the deck. Okay. Okay, let me check first. Mm -hmm. Okay, it seems like I, I have to... Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I think I have to leave the Cisco and Grand access to the MacBook first and then rejoin the sessions. Is it okay? It should be fine. Okay, okay. Just make sure that you don't have multiple desktops. Yes, sir. Yeah. There we are. to start ah first let me introduce myself so i will introduce myself <laughs> yes i'm the organizer of devops indonesia's community and organizer and advisor of devops days jakarta this year is our second devops days event in indonesia and the next one will be on march 2020 hope you guys can also take part in the event Currently working as managing partner in the Rada Code and also as ambassador from DevOps Institute. Okay, so I'm going to structure my presentations into two sections. The first is the driver, why we have to distribute security decision at speed and scale, and then how to achieve it effectively. Okay. So the driver, why? Why do we have to distribute security decisions at speed and scale? At The reason is simply because right now we are living in the era of choices. So customer has so many options of product and services and become more demanding in this era. If you take a look at this simple traditional triangle that used to work before, it's not going to work in this era. It's becoming less, less relevant. Uh, previously, we can choose only two, and the last one is our trade-off. But not in this era. If the enterprise cannot deliver these three aspects, it means loss of opportunity for them. Because right now, more and more organizations offer good quality service with fast delivery at affordable price. Okay, let's flash back a little bit. So it's in, in 1994 when Bill Gates came with this quote, banking is necessary, banks or not. This was the beginning era of financial technology. And then 
if you are still remember, follow in 2011 the founder of Netscape, yeah, the internet store um, on those days, Mark Anderson, is writing in Wall Street Journal state that software is eating the world. Welcome to the application economy. And then following in 2014, we have the famous research company Gartner's mentioned that CEO must focus on leading their companies to think and become more like technology company because the digital business will dominate the industry. You want to provide with some example and if we take a look here, yes, it's true right now like Nike, Adidas from a sneaker company become tower data enable athletic brand. And then what happened after that, we can take a look everywhere that technology company keep disrupting conventional company. So what do they have in common? Of course, customer, their customer the data and the applications. Only that, they keep surprising and delighting their customers with the innovations, the delivery speed, time to fail you, and they can offer the service at affordable price. So in this digitalization era, if we take a look, speed is become the new metrics. Take a look on how we measure all numbers right now, lead time, cycle time, time to value, or time to detect and repair, all related to time and speed. And even slow is now becoming the new down. Yes. And then, but what happened with the most of enterprise? We are still struggling with innovations. The quality, the time to market. And the big question for the enterprise is how to improve all of this. How to become more agile, more nimble, just like startup. How to deliver faster quality and secure services. This is the challenge in the most of enterprise. As we take a look now, enterprise has started with their agile development movement. They start doing agile development, collaborate more with business, see things and value from customer perspective welcome to changes so instead of using the plan driven approach such as waterfall to deliver the digital capability they start with agile shorten the cycles get shorter feedback and build more quality product and service and that's why we are seeing more and more innovative services from the enterprise these are only some example i took these examples this is from ING Bank. You can deposit your check by just taking a photo. Of course, it's amazing and convenient. And then more and more quality services at the tip of your fingers. So provided by the enterprise. So we take a look here. Quality and innovation service are accomplished at this point. At least in Indonesia right now, this is the state in the enterprise. But yet, the enterprise still struggling with the other aspects. Let's take a look deeper in this situation in the most of enterprise. So they started with the agile development. They shortened the delivery cycles. And of course, we are enterprise, especially in financial institutions. In order to be secure, we have to conduct the security assessment, testing and all quality assessment. And usually we do it as separate phase and even we have to engage with vendors that can can take like forever. Most of enterprises are still struggling with this. And the impact is they cannot achieve improvement in the time to market, time to failure, all the metrics related to speed. They lost the timing to grab the new market with their product and services. And if they sacrifice the quality assessment, security assessment to chase the time to market, usually bad things happen. Yes, they get security breaches everywhere. We have seen a lot of security cases because of lack of security and assessment. So what is the solution? So let's jump into the solutions. So DevOps emphasize on improving the collaboration and the communications. And for the team, it means they have to collaborate with the security expert in the organization early in the cycle. So the early plan usually is to invite the security guy to the ceremony you have, such as 
sprint planning, sprint review, and other events. Ask for their feedback and more collaboration with them. But what is the result? They won't show up. Why? So because it's simply because they don't have the capacity. So this is the interesting data I took, uh, from Signal Science. Show us the comparison of the capacity of security guys in large enterprise. If you have around 100 developers, you usually have 10 infrastructure people and only one security guy. That's why they won't show up if you invite them. They basically don't have the capacity. So it's not because they don't want to collaborate with you, but it's the capacity. That's why we have to distribute security decisions to ensure the fast flow of value. And of course, it requires to us to improve on several aspects. Start from the mindset of the security guys. So if we are the security guys in the enterprise, start by changing our mindset first. We have to shift our mindset from the assurance more toward to the assistance. So the mindset is how we can assist all teams on security aspect. It means how we can help the team to detect security vulnerability faster. And it means early involvement in the cycle, leverage automations, and how the team can prevent vulnerability. So our performance indicator from the security perspective should be shifted from how many vulnerability we found to how early we can find the vulnerability in the cycles. We have to keep educating the team and the business that security requirement is very important and critical, not just the functional one. So this is from the mindset perspective. So let's continue on the other aspect, change the operating model, of course. So from the operating model point of view, we have to tweak it a little bit in order to improve the flow Start the, by designing the operating model that fit in your business and ensure the faster flow of value. And what I want to highlight here is the security service should be exposed as a platform in organizations. So all teams can easily leverage and use their services. So we have to remove the constraint in the enterprise. And in this context is the security. We have to design the model that ensure the fast of value. Start from the operating model. And then if we move to the process point of view, as we refer previously, security guys should provide the platform and the assistance. We have to automate most of the security assessment and testing in the delivery pipeline. Of course, the team should have the delivery pipeline first to automate their build and deployment. So start from ensuring the security requirement is there. And expected behavior are clearly understand by the team, by the business or by the product owner. We can leverage this, some approach like specification, by example, of behavior driven development to really uh, put the examples. And then continue to the development process. We can assist the developer by having automated quality assistance by simply implementing linting in their tools, in their IDE tools. So while they are writing their code, they can get early feedback instantly. And then each time they push their code to the repository, we, put, we perform code scanning. We can leverage the static code analysis or static application security testing, such as Veracruz, SonarCube, and others. And also then follow with the software composition analysis, the SCA here, to check for known bait library. Basically, it's check all potential vulnerability library in their solutions. Some tools are there in the market, such as Black Duck, Snake also, uh, or others. And then this is very important. We should check for vulnerability, vulnerable libraries. As we know now, Developers, they are very creative. They don't want to reinvent the wheel and usually just Googling the library, finding it in the internet and use it. And it's our job to assist them. 
And then the next process, the packaging, if you are, your teams or in your organization are using containerization, perform the container security scanning. And then after the solution get deployed to the target environment, mostly staging environment, we can perform the gray or black box testing with dynamic application security tools to simulate the attack from the outsider to find any potential vulnerability. Some security scanning tools we can also leverage to validate our security posture also, such as security man monkey that is being used by Netflix as part of their Simian army. Not as famous as, as the Chaos Monkey, but the this is security monkey for the to find the security vulnerability in your system. And then you can combine the static application security testing and dynamic application security testing by implementing the interactive one to provide more faster executions and more comprehensive assessment. And then after the solution got deployed in the target environment, we provide them with the security monitoring dashboard to increase the visibility, of course, in order to detect any potential threat early and, of course, to mitigate faster. And, of course, to continuously improve their code in product. Some monitoring tools such as Plank, Elasticstack can be leveraged to perform analytics based on the log and offer security monitoring framework built in on those such as security information and event management framework or CM. And after some time the data is here, we can leverage machine learning to perform more analytics on the security event. And in production, we can also use the runtime application self protections that modify our solution runtime to give more protections to our working solutions. So we can implement these approaches in order to ensure the fast flow value. So we shift left the security and assist the team and emphasize everyone is responsible for security. So we shift left because early feedback and it is, it, it is easier to fix five line of course instead of thousand line of course at the end. So just like the quality, it's not one person job, it's everyone's job, same with security. Everyone should be responsible for it. And they should build the security quality in from beginning and continuously improve. And the people and the competency aspect. Security should act as the center of excellence and provide assistance to the team. We have to bring the awareness to the team, slowly develop their security competency by de delivering security awareness program, make sure they understand what security really means to the product and organizations, what is the current potential threat and the possible solution and approach, what is the impact if they are ignoring the security aspect. Community of practice in security can also help to bring in the awareness to the team. And then we can also regularly or uh, pick the service randomly and perform the threat modeling with the team. Together with the team, we decompose the application, see from asset perspective, your data, of course, because you're asset right now. And is there any potential threat or vulnerability that we can fix or improve? So we also have to provide the guideline or security knowledge base, such as OAPS, they have SKF, provided to the team to understand more what is secure really means. We always keep saying that you have to be secure. You have to take security as your considerations in building your product. But do we provide enough security guidelines? Working example, do we provide it? And the playing ground them to experiment. So let's provide it to them. And then facilitate safe experimentation, such as hackathons. And also we can do internal security tournaments, such as internal secure code. In my experience, in the enterprise, educating developers are not an easy task, especially for security aspect. If we take a look at OAP's top 10, 
open web application security project from 2014 to 2017 the list is always there cross site scripting the sql injections that are tightly correlated with how developers write their code so the most effective way is to engage developers in the fun and more challenging way for example kicking international internal secure code tournament every three or six months over the winner with the core prizes and what happened in my experience they will aggressively learn security aspect yes it's very effective there are several platforms for this in the market such as secure code warrior of a secure code tournament platform and learning and then in the enterprise you can play blue and red red teaming games to find the best security posture for the organizations these are the several approach in my experience that we can leverage in order to develop competency of the people so we are not just shifting lab but starting lab on the delivery cycle and provide the end-to-end -end assistance so I cannot provide or bring uh, actual data here but if you take a look on the DevOps state of the report the result is great the DevOps data report, of course, you can download it in the internet. It's from DevOps research and assessments. The fact showing that the enterprise that address security at every stage of the delivery cycle are less spending time to remediate the security issues. And then to summarize my talk, to achieve security decisions at speed and scale, in the enterprise, we have to improve for more aspects. Start from the people, process, and technology, and always think on how to design the operating model. That focusing on how to improve the flow of work and value. We can use the shift and thinking, leverage the Conway law, and then assist and ensure everyone has passive backlog by leveraging automation, security as code in the delivery pipeline. We can apply all these assessment and testing as so get first to educate the team and then slowly implement the rules strictly so we will break the delivery pipeline of course and the last point is let everyone grow keep experimenting and learning from the mistake and the most importantly to have the safe environment because distribute security decisions at scale means a lot of experimentations also giving trust at scale to the security team as the enabler and the team that consume the security service yes i hope my talk can bring some ideas and resonate for you that's in the journey of adapting devops and if you are still considering to start your devops implementations i think it's time to start Capital Carbon Consulting and the experts are there that can help you. It's not an easy journey, but it's worth the result. All right. I think that's all for my talk.